Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Fridays with Friends. I'm Lori Yadoff, Director of the Economic Advocacy and Community Health Unit at Coast to Coast Legal Aid. Um, with us today is Brad Barnes. He's from the Pavarello Center. Brad is the manager of the Pavarello Live Well Center. The mission of the Pavarello Center is to provide nutrition, food, services, and basic living essentials with the highest degree of understanding, respect, and love for each individual living with critical and chronic illness in the South Florida area. The Pavarello Center was founded in 1987, and Brad has been with Pavarello for 22 years. Welcome, Brad. And, Thank you. And I, you know, obviously from your mission, your services have been um, so important during this time of the pandemic. So can you discuss a little bit first about where your program is located and then um, how people can become eligible for your services? Great, thank you so much for inviting us. This is really important, so thank you. Uh, we're located actually in South Florida uh, with the three counties. And I say that is that we started mobile units. So the physical location is in Wilton Manors at 22, uh, I'm sorry, 2056 North Dixie Highway, Wilton Manors. Um, and we service all three counties in South Florida, Palm Beach, Broward, and Miami-Dade. And um, how does someone become eligible for your services? So we're primary um, HIV um, or AIDS. Um, we're funded through the Ryan White program here in Broward County and also in Palm Beach County. Um, and so in Broward, they would access it through um, eligibility, CIED, the Ryan White program. And in Palm Beach, uh, they would access it through their Ryan White case manager. For individuals uh, that are living with chronic illnesses other than HIV, um, they would come here to the center first uh, for their intake. And we would process the, the intake uh, information and paperwork. Due to COVID, we're able also to do it online through email. So if an individual is homebound or doesn't feel comfortable coming out, we're able to, to do all the work through email. Soon we'll be able to do it through an app, um, working with Athena Health to be able to load all our paperwork into the app and the client is able to fill it out even on their phone. Uh, so COVID, there's some plus sides to COVID um, and this is one of them. That we've become more electronically um, and remotely able, able to help people, which exactly meet is, them where they are, where they are. Right, exactly, exactly. And um, so uh, I'm very interested in your mobile project. I hadn't heard about that before. How does that work? So we really recognize that, that there's a lot of what we call food deserts out there um, in our community, and what basically what that means is there's, uh, there's not a supermarket. Uh, within, I believe, five miles, I think that's the, the mileage that they use, five miles from their home, um, where they get fresh fruits and vegetables. So our CEO, Tom, um, uh, kind of, it was his brainstorm to bring the, uh, this idea with us. So we're able to move our whole facility on the road and go anywhere as long as we have six parking spaces. So the original thought was that we bring all our food, and everything we set up, the client comes in um, to the pop-up unit, they place the order and they have the food and off they go. Um, due to COVID, we changed it around a little bit. We do a lot of pre-work. Um, the ordering is done online. And then we go to a site and we bring their food to them and they pick it up. So they drive up, they pop the trunk, they, we put the food in the trunk and off they go. We were very, very lucky, um, extremely lucky in the early days of COVID and getting, getting funding from di several different sources that said, our people need food or this community needs food. What can you do? So we're able, we were able to go out um, in Miami where we serviced over a thousand people in Miami on a weekly basis on these pop-ups. Same thing here in Broward, we teamed up with YMCA South Florida and we were able to get into some of the communities that were hardest hit with, with COVID. And they were in between programs. So there were really no programs for them to, to go to. So we try to really uh, reach people that were having a difficult time to stretch out that money as, possible, as much as possible. Wow, that's, that's very important service. So, so you, you have mostly ongoing 
um, provision of food, regular, regular clients or customers, in other words, right? So you, they, they have the expectation that every week you're going to be bringing them food. Is that, is that how it works? For the pop-up, yes. And in, 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 since COVID has rolled on, um, we sent it out to um, the Ryan White program. So we do home delivered um, for many of our clients. We, we are able to do that. A lot of our clients though really would like to come in um, in transportation is the issue. So what we've done is we teamed up with some of our other community partners um, within the Ryan White and actually do the pop-up from their facility, like for our family community health center um, in Pompano. And so we team up with them um, and we do the pop up there. So the food is actually uh, delivered there. The client can pick it up. Um, we've also teamed up with DoorDash where DoorDash is actually delivering our food to our clients. Um, so it's been a pretty amazing experience the last 18 months of people coming to us and saying, how can we help get your services out to the clients that need it the most? That's great. We have um, many mutual clients, you and I, um, we provide legal services. So some of them, uh, many of them tell me how wonderful the Live Well Center is and how they're there really every day because it's such a great community. Can you talk a little bit about what, what is involved with that? I've never been there myself. I'd love to see it. So this program started, I'm really proud of how the program started. Um, that started by clients um, back in the early, early, eight, uh, well, late 80s, early 90s. Um, and the clients were coming to us saying, you know, I don't feel comfortable going to a gym because I'm dealing with wasting. And so they said, we really would like a gym. And we're like, well, we can put it together, but we don't have the money. They said, no problem, we'll fundraise for that. And the clients did that. Then they were like, well, we don't have staffing. No problem, we'll do that. We'll clean the bathrooms, we'll clean everything down. And so they, the clients really, really put it together and built a strong foundation. And when Ryan White programs ended massage therapy and chiropractic, they were like, we need that service again. We're like, great, but we don't have the money for it, but we'll help. And so they went out and they reached providers to come in to volunteer their time. So we kind of evolved around that over the years. And so we really become the wraparound services for, for clients. We offer massage therapy, chiropractor, aquaculture, um, haircuts even, um, and we have a full, full gym. We rolled into a community center more pre-COVID um, where, where individuals were able to come in and relax, watch TV. We did movie nights, we had dinners. Um, so it truly became uh, a community center. Um, with COVID, that really changed things around. At first, we were kind of like, we need to shut everything down because we can't be this close to each other. Since January, we started rolling out programs. Um, and so we have all our programs up and running. Um, and so we kind of isolate a little bit so that way we don't have too many clients in the same area. But we have all our services back up. Back up. We started what we call the local flavor, which is a dinner. Um, it was meant for once a week. It was a pilot program. We just got funding for it in COVID hit. So we kind of put the program on hold, but thanks to Macy's and the Broward Sheriff's Department, um, we were able to offer that service to almost 200 clients for seven weeks. We teamed up with a local restaurant here in Wilton Manors in DoorDash, and we were able to deliver um, hot meals once a week. Um, and so hopefully the, that local flavor will be back up and running shortly. Um, clients really like that. It was a program where you come in and you just relax and have a nice hot meal. And there was no program. At the end of the meal, people hung out, they watched TV or they played cards or they just, they just talked. And that's what people, especially during COVID, people I think is so isolated now. These programs are very, very important to see each other. Yeah, I can imagine because they were so important before and now I'm sure it's exponentially more important. Um, clients have always said to me how welcoming and warm you are and the program is at Live Well and um, it's really had a tremendous impact on the community. So you guys should really be proud of the work you do. And uh, you know, 22 years of your dedication is really 
it's it's very admirable and i'm sure that the community thanks you so much um, yeah and hopefully i mean live well center is just in wilton manors right right now it's just in wilton manors the goal is also to establish pop-up um with that so when we do a pop-up food pantry we also be able to go with the mobile unit to be able to do gym and bring a trainer along with us to start wow. to do that, that that's our goal to, to start doing that there's a uh, a model that we're using out of boston it's called the boston living center and we're trying to copy that system here locally um they've been running for over 30 years um, and I'm very familiar with that agency up there. And so we're hoping down the line after COVID's over to really move towards that model. Great. Well, if um, in closing, if you just want to give, um, well, I'm sure we're going to post the phone number and the website and everything else. But if you just want to put a phone number, you know, out there for people to um, to contact, to get more information, um, and then, you know, the address again, so that um, people have an idea where to go and how to reach someone. Sure, the number here is 954-561-3663. Um, my extension is 117. Um, I might not be the person you need to talk to, but I'll get you over to the, the proper staff member that will be able to help you. Okay, thank you so much. Um, no, thank anything you. you wanna add before we sign off? I'm sorry? Is there anything that I've missed that you want to add before we sign off? No, I just love the partnership and and that we have between both agencies and serving the clients. And, and at the end of the day, it's all about the clients and getting clients in for services. So thank you for um, offering this uh, today to us. I appreciate that. Okay, it's always our pleasure. So um, goodbye, everyone. Please like and subscribe and join us next time for Fridays with Friends.